Right. Well, we did it. We made it to hour one. There were some doubts, but morale is high. We were just chatting about, gossiping, and all of a sudden I look up and I go, I got to do a show and entertain a nation. And here we are, Fritzy, Seton Marv, Paulie, yours truly, the backroom guys as well, and you, whether you're watching on Peacock, thank you for downloading the app, or you're uh, listening. Our radio affiliates over 400 cities carrying this award-nominated program, but here is the bad news. We did not get nominated this year for a sports Emmy. I should have said it yesterday, but it was too painful. I needed another 24 hours to process this. But once again, we're not going to win the sports Emmy this year. And um, It's almost I, impossible if you're not nominated. Yes, that's true. Uh, and I blame Mario because Mario puts together the tape that they send to the sports Emmy people and then they vote on this and then they decide if this is a great daily show. And, you know, as the years go on, the years dwindle, we only have so many, so many more years here for an opportunity to win a sports Emmy. And it's not about me. It's really about the Danettes. It's about the audience. Because I've already won a couple of sports Emmys. I know what that feeling is like, but I see the disappointment on Seton's face. And, uh, you know what? It puts more pressure on me, you know, and, and, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'd let you down again. We got three more tries and then that's it. Cause I don't want to get one posthumously when I'm dead. And then all of a sudden (laughs) they say, you know what? On second thought, we should have honored that show. Because that show did spawn a lot of other shows. You don't have Pat McAfee without this show. No. You don't have Levitard without this show. We've left a legacy. But it'd be nice with a sports Emmy for that legacy. Yes, Eden. See, that's the problem, though, is that you would get one posthumously for this show. Then it'd be like, oh, yeah, those guys. I mean, they were along for the ride. But we got to give one to Dan for the Dan Patrick show. Okay. Because he did so well. Somebody has to be there to pick it up. Yeah. If I'm not around, you guys can. Okay. And I already got it planned that there's only one voice. At least that's what they say. When you go up there, it's one person accepting. But I would like for everybody to speak at the same time. So when they say, oh, here on behalf of the Dan Patrick Show, it's Todd Fritz, Seton O'Connor, Marvin Prince, and Pauly Pabst. And then you guys go up there collectively, and then you start the acceptance speech by going. It's about time. Everyone overlooked me. I was the most important one this whole time, and no one ever gave me any credit. Jerks. Well, no, we don't want to say that. But uh, that, that would be it. That would be how I'd like to go out. I think that would be nice. That's all right. I've resigned myself to the fact that it's never going to happen. Well, no, you're not winning one. No, you're the one that says, no, don't say that. We need to win. We're going to win. I'm the one that used to say. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad that you've lowered expectations. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yes, Paul. So we went went 0 for 5. We were nominated five times, open bar five times. A couple of them were remote, though. That kind of stunk. Yeah. You know, so we only got to go three times. Um, Outstanding studio show daily. The nominees this year were. MLB Tonight, NBA Countdown, NFL Live, Pardon the Interruption, which is always there, and Sports Center, which is almost always there. MLB Tonight is almost always there. Yeah, but Pardon the Interruption, they only do 30 minutes. They don't even do 30 minutes. They do 22 minutes. It's a good 22. Tony doesn't even have to leave his house. I mean, okay. Maybe we should scale our show down to 30, 30 minutes and we'll maybe, crush it. Maybe 22 minutes. <laughs> maybe we'll do 22 Would minutes. Would we get, be able to get a great 22 minutes every day? Oh, wow. Can we do a truly great 22 minutes? No. I think we could do a a consistently good 22 minutes. (laughs) That should be the name of the show. PTI. Yeah. Consistently good. Yes, Todd. But it goes back to what we've mentioned a few times before. Like, they need to kind of look into some other category because so many times we're put up against shows and it doesn't match up with the traditional sports talk show and other programs. Their highlight shows are they're very different than what we do. If they got to see how we put this all together, we'd win a sports Emmy every year. I mean, somehow we... Or it would really devalue the nominating <laughs> process. <laughs> but look, I'm not, I'm not begging for anything here. I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm just letting the audience know, letting the Danettes know that we did not get nominated this year. And uh, we'll, we'll try again next year. I don't want to uh, be like, if we're going to win one, I don't want it to be best radio show on TV, Emmy. 
That's yeah. a bunch of crap. I don't want to win that. I'd rather I want to beat the Sports Center people. We're best you know? TV show All on five thousand of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going up against behemoths. It's just us. We're just a couple of guys here in a converted uh, what tool rental a place, machine shop, yeah. or something. <laughs> and, and somehow, I mean, look at I got guys doing jobs they never did before. But you know what? That's the beauty of it. That might be why we're not nominated. No, no, no. I think, you know what it is? I think I need more hot takes. That's why we're not getting Ah, nominated. I think we open up with the Cowboys and the Lakers today, and we just have a Cowboy Laker day, and we just do hot takes. And see if that works. Yes, Paul. But if you look at the list, these aren't hot take shows that got nominated for sports Emmys. Well, pardon the interruption. They give you some hot takes. I, nah, but they're not faux takes. They're actual opinions. Oh, okay. Like, I don't I don't find that to be a hot take show at all. Yeah, baseball baseball tonight or MLB tonight? Yeah. They did it again to us. I mean, they're not, not ever, dude. They're nice guys, yeah. but come on. Not that nice. No. I mean, they're all guys who weren't great baseball players, and they threw them in a studio. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, Skippy, roll up your sleeves and uh, show us how a bunt uh, works. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah, great. Yeah, how about another Harold Reynolds demonstration? Yeah. Now, see, when you're turning two, your hips have to be this way so that then you can get a whatever. Uh, Give the people what they want. Yeah. Yeah, they have a jib. Great. Yeah. We're never going to win without a jib. Yeah. The jib camera. <sighs> Okay. All right. Nice sweeping shot of the studio. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's impressive. Oh, yeah. That's a jib. Can't underestimate the jib, though. (sighs) (laughs) 